Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. Recently, I tested the Underwood High Performance Extreme Defenders in 32 ACP from the two inch barrel of a C-Camp LWS 32 to see if it would perform. And somewhat to my surprise, it did perform adequately in gel, basically meeting the basic FBI standard for duty ammunition in a 32 ACP. Now 32 ACP has largely fallen by the wayside and is relegated to just a couple of guns still in production, the Seacamp LWS 32 and the Beretta Tomcat, and maybe a few of the Ring of Fire type cast zinc alloy guns. Um, but there's a lot of older guns out there that chamber this cartridge, and it has some things going for it. For example, very low recoil. And that can be very nice for some people. Recoil for most pistols is kind of comparable to 22 long rifle, but it does pack a significantly greater punch. The problem with 32 ACP has been that hollow points generally don't expand and just act like ball ammo. Hollow points that do expand tend to fall far short of modern standards for penetration. And they're very, very rare indeed. So, 32 has been kind of a non-starter, but then Underwood introduced their Extreme Defender ammunition, which is a monolithic copper bullet with the Phillips screwdriver tip. And according to the packaging in this non-plus P version, it is a 55 grain bullet at 950 feet per second. It's not nothing. It certainly beats the hell out of a 25 ACP or a 22 long rifle. So we're going to shoot this into some gel through four layers of denim, kind of a standard FBI ballistics test. And uh, before we do, though, I'd like to shout out to my supporters on Patreon. Your contributions help more than you know, and you still have one day before 31 December 2023, where if you sign up at the $1 level or higher, you will be entered to win a High Point YC-9 Yeet Cannon, courtesy of Rain City Shooting Center, which, if you win, will be shipped to you to your local FFL in accordance with all federal, state, and local laws. So, let's have a look how this works out in gel when fired through four layers of denim. Okay, if proof were needed that I'm an idiot, I forgot to hit record when I recorded the results and I've already removed the bullets from the gel. But, I can show you the wound tracks. This is the first hit right here from the three and three quarter inch barrel Beretta. And that tracks through the gel with some pretty decent disruption to 13 and a half inches and the bullet bounced back one inch. From the Beretta, we have to get a different angle to see the most of the disruption. Okay, you can see it down there below. Pretty good disruption and it penetrated to 13 inches before bouncing back approximately one inch and ending right where I split the block. So, um, a less than satisfactory videography on my part, but you can see the results. Pretty good disruption for a 32. So as you saw from the Beretta Model 81's three and three quarter inch barrel, 13 and a half inches of penetration, with significantly more disruption of the gel than is achieved by ball ammunition. And from the two and a half inch barrel of the Tomcat, 13 inches of penetration, and again, with significantly more disruption of the gel than you'd accomplish with ball ammunition. So is this an improvement over ball ammunition? I'd have to say pretty definitely so. It's definitely an improvement over hollow points because they either act like ball or, in the rare cases that they expand, badly underpenetrate. So I think if you're insistent upon carrying a 32, 
this is probably a good idea. Now, does it really meet the threshold for a modern concealed carry round? I'm going to leave that up to you. Um, it's producing damage pretty similar to a 380 ACP. So if you think 380 ACP is adequate, then it probably is. Now, the advantage it has over ball ammunition is that it does not overpenetrate the gel, which ball ammunition, even in 32 ACP, can sometimes penetrate surprisingly far in these tests. Now, the thing to remember about these gel tests is that the gel is a comparative media and does not represent tissue damage. It is simply a comparison. The FBI set a standard of 12 to 19 inches of penetration through four layers of denim with enhanced disruption being a good thing, a bonus. So these actually meet the FBI duty standard probably at the lowest level, but they do meet it. So anyway, just thought you'd find that interesting. And uh, if you like the video, please hit like. Subscribe if you want to see more content of this type. And uh, I hope this finds you well. Stay safe and take care. And we'll talk to you again real soon.